Hi everyone. Today on Hello Susan, we're going to decorate an envelope for the Barn Swallows journal that we're working on. So I found these really pretty envelopes on Amazon and they're lined with gold. I really liked that. And I have inked up the edges and kind of inked it up a little bit so it's not quite so glaring white. And I've got some bits and pieces that we're going to use to decorate. The other thing I got on Amazon was these little paper bags. I thought they were super cute and would be such a cute thing for pockets. So let me move things up over just a little bit so it's not in my way. And we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I have this... Uh, it's printed on just regular copy paper. And what I want to do is I want to cover the front of the envelope with that. And I've already inked the edges on it. And I used my tear ruler so that it had jagged edges. I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. It sure is fun to know that y'all are watching and I'm glad that you're enjoying what I'm doing. I'm, I'm actually staying true to what I like and hoping that there's enough of other people that likes the same thing. Okay, Let's see if I can get this on here without getting glue all over me. Just kind of center it there. Then I'm going to use my bone folder just to make it lay down flat really good. Okay. All right, now I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. And then I want to work on this little bag. So let me move that out of the way. I've got this. It's a replica of some wallpaper. And what I want to do is I just want to tear around. I didn't want to use my tear ruler because I want it to be a little bit more torn looking. And I'm just going to tear that edge off like that. And then um, let's see how much I need of this in order for it to, to wrap around real good. I don't really want the stripe to be dead on center. So, let's see if we do it a little bit like that. We'll see how much we actually do need of this design. So, I'm just going to wrap it around and kind of fold it in place. And then I can cut off. about right there. I'm not going to worry about tearing it there because that's going to be on the back and you're not going to see it. And let me go ahead and cut the border off the bottom. It's not going to be shown either because I'm going to use some lace to cover that up. I don't know if I need that or not. Let me take a look at it again. Yeah, I do need to keep that piece on there. That's the way I kind of measured it. So let me bring my ink in, and I want to ink this uh, edge right here real quick. Okay. And let's go ahead and start with the front, I guess. Just going to put glue all over this bag. Just get this centered the way we want it. Huh. Looks like I need to cut off a little bit more of the bottom. Okay, get my bone folder. Go ahead and cut that bottom off now while I can see where to cut it and I don't uh, have to kind of worry so much about the bottom because I don't want to cut the bag on the bottom and then lose my pocket. Okay, let's go ahead and get this glued in place. 
I'm going to do this side next. I'm just going to go ahead and glue on the paper this time. So I know exactly where to glue. And just fold it over. Okay, and now we're going to fold this one over. And then that wraps around the bag. Now, I guess you could have just cut this off even shorter and not done so much. I do kind of like doing it because the bag is thin and then the copy paper is thin. So this just way, it just adds a little bit more stability for that pocket. All right, let's go ahead and spread that out. All right, so I'll let that dry for, for just a tiny bit. And I want to put some net on next just a little bit of glue around I love my net I was stuck on tool for a long time and now I found this wider open which is just an exaggeration I guess on tool but I'm loving it right now so it seems like I'm putting that on everything Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put our bag on the envelope. So I think I want to have it on this side. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down. I'm going to do the top of that bag and all the way around. You could do it as another pocket if you want to make a double pocket. I feel like the bag right here is so thin, I really don't want to mess with it, I guess. Okay. And that'll hold that net in place, too. Now, I have this tag already cut out, kind of. So what I want to do next with it is I want to use my punch. If you can see, it's got, uh, shows you all the different sizes. So you can use papers from different sizes, and this is, could be for your scraps or anything, and then all of a sudden it turns it into a pretty tag because it does a pretty tag topper. So I'm going to turn it upside down so I can see where I'm punching. Sometimes I get it dead on in the center, sometimes I don't, and then I just trim. Okay, well, see, I didn't get it dead center, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to get my scissors, and I'm just going to trim that little piece right there, and it still looks perfect. And it punches the hole out at the same time. I find, I just love this, this punch. I find I use it a lot, especially on my scrap pieces because then it makes an instant pretty tag. I'm just gonna ink around the edges real fast. And then we'll uh, decorate this tag. Ink the back too. I like to do the backs of everything that I work on. I guess I learned that in the design business. I used to um, have a company where I designed children's accessories and sold to very high-end stores, and most of it was hand-painted, but I made sure that all the backs of whatever I was doing looked very good as well. Okay, let me move this envelope over here real quick. I've got this rose. Cut out. Just need to ink around it. I inked around everything else. I don't know why I didn't ink around this, but it doesn't take that long and we can get that done. Okay. So I'm going to put this. It's going to cover up that rose, but it kind of blends in with it. 
and then you see all these little rose buds around it. So that's where I'm going to glue it in place. Go around the edges real good. Not too much because I don't like it when it seeps out and then I have a mess. Okay. I think that's where I want it. And see how those little rosebuds? It just looks like that's part, whatever was behind it, looks like that's part of that. So I think that worked out pretty good. Need to get some trim to go around right here so we can finish that tag. Okay, let's get this glued in place. For a second so I can make sure that it's level. Okay, then I've got some uh, vintage rayon seam binding that I'm going to use as a topper. Poke it in that hole. One thing about this uh, hole is it is a little bit further away from here, which is good because it doesn't tear through but you have to use a little bit uh, bigger piece of ribbon to cover that space. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> Had to take the first one that I ever did out and redo it because it just wasn't long enough. Okay, there you go. And that tag is done. That's all we're going to do to that tag. Oh, wait, let me go ahead and ink that lace a little bit. It's looking a little bit too white. So we can put that in the pocket. Oh, wait, let me add, I add, I'm sorry. I just remembered I have a bow to go on there. Let me see which one of these. I did two of them. I just want to see which one is the biggest one because I'll put that one on the cover. And we'll put this one right there. You know, when you, when you uh, buy clothes, and they have the ribbon so you can put it on your hanger so it doesn't slip off. Well, I've started saving all of those to make my bows and things. So just a thought before you throw it away. Okay, and let me ink that just a tiny bit. There we go. Now that looks completed. Okay. I'm going to let it dry just a little bit before I put that in there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I have this trim right here. I'm going to put this at the bottom. Just building up layers just gives it more personality for me. put a little ink on that. And I have this other trim. It's a it's got some organza flowers, so it's 3D and got little beads for the centers. I want to put that at the top. Isn't this turning out cute? It's so fun to take something plain and turn it into a piece of art. Okay, we're going to put this all right along the top there. Get it centered. And see, that kind of holds that net in place, too. It's still drying. Okay, so I've got these barn swallows that I cut out. 
and I want to put those on here because that's my focal point. And I think that they would look good about right there. Okay. So now I just put glue all over the back of this. These little tails are almost like itty bitty little strips. So I gotta be sure and get those uh, glued down because I think that that would be the first thing that would start poking up if I didn't. Can always add some glue if I don't get it exactly right. All right, let's see. kind of want the branch to be tilted a little bit. That looks pretty. Oh, I see I didn't get glue on the tip of that one. Okay, got that glued down. Okay. So the next thing I want to do, I have a yellow butterfly, so I want to go ahead and add that up in through here. Put some glue on it. Let's get this all with glue on it. The yellow just brings in a little pop so it's not just also so pink. There we go. And push it down just a tiny bit because it's going through the lace to get to the paper. This one looks like it needs a little bit more glue. I think I might have missed that one altogether. It didn't look like it had any glue on it. Okay, there we go. And now I've got these words. It says, dreams come true. I don't know about y'all, but I, I do like words when I'm doing things. It, it uh, just makes you have memories and uh, makes you have emotions. I think about right there be the top one and then I'm thinking we'll put the bottom one here and then we'll split the difference with with that one so is that where yeah that looks good don't you think Move it out of the way for a minute. Put this right there. So I'm not lining it up uh, with each other. I don't know why. <laughs> but I just thought since they're all different sizes, it, it wouldn't look good all lined up but I do want the same spacing in between each one. And let's see, where where is this one gonna look the best? I think that's just too lined up for me, so I think I'm gonna come over here and get on that stripe just a little bit. There we go. I didn't get the spacing just right. There we go, I think, now we got it. Okay, so one last thing to do. Oh, two it looks like. Okay, I've got this little applique of a heart with yellow roses. Since we brought in the yellow butterfly, I felt like we needed one more thing with some yellow. And there's a little bit of yellow on the birds with the beaks. Let's see, I've got that bow to put on too. And we're just about done. Put that on at a, whoops, <laughs> came right up with my finger. 
Let me get my spatula so I can push it down and it not come up with me. Okay, and I did that at a little angle. I don't, I just kind of like things at an angle sometimes. Okay, so now I made another bow. And we're just going to put some glue on it. I think we'll put that right here. I want to cover up the birds. Okay, and I'm going to ink this top trim little bit. It looks pretty white. And let's insert our tag into the pocket. Okay, and we are done. And when you put it in your journal, you can just put this over a page. So just this part would be showing Let's see if I have a, I don't have anything. All I have is this white piece of paper. But that's the way you would hook it on. And you could just glue it right here and it could be a tuck spot. Or you could just glue some right here and it could be like a belly band. Just gives you more options. and Or you can just paper clip it in. But anyway, that's our envelope with the pocket and a tag. For our Barn Swallows journal. Okay, well, thanks so much, everybody, for watching me today and joining me in this journey on YouTube. See you next time. Bye-bye.